Hello there, Eruner here, and today we are going to make a tier list of the best spears in the Troy. We start with Ethiopia. They have the Nachtua infantry, which is uh, which is very strong spear frontline unit, and actually I think it is slightly above average. Or because it is having very strong stats and I will put it to the A tier. Then we have Argos, they have only armored spearmen which is a solid average tier. The Dardania unfortunately uh, does not have uh, very good endgame uh, spears. Uh, they are just heavy armored spearmen, very weak compared to all other units in the game. Then uh, Hector has access to Champions of Troy, which are even better than Nactua Infantry. They are expensive, um, but we don't consider the cost here. They have insane stats, a very defensive one. So we will put it to the S tier for the time being. Then Hippolyta does not have uh, spears, just one broken uh, black spears unit. It's uh, still not enough to uh, endgame spears, uh, but it is still better than Dardania one, or maybe we can bring Dardania here as well. They are kind of on the same level. Uh, with Ithaca we got Odysseus Mitride Runners, uh, which are not a frontline unit, very st stalky flankers. Usually they are not doing well, but since they are having uh, insane stats like 50 and 50, they are slightly above average. I would say on the weaker end of the above average tier. Then we got poor Lycia, which does not have uh, spears, only cheap and terrible spears. So it will be on the last tier. Then we got Mycenae, Agamemnon guards. And you would be surprised, they are dealing tons of damage and they are able to delete almost any unit in the game. And maybe they are slightly better than champions of Troy. We got Paris. If, despite the limited roster, Paris is having same champions of Troy as the Hector. It's kind of a surprise that Paris will, is having the strongest spears in the game, but that's the life. Now we got Penthesilea with Stiganors. Uh, they are just mid-tier spears, not so broken as Hippolyta, uh, just standard flanker, uh, and it is probably the weakest one in the game. Then we have Taya with famous Myrmidons. I would say Myrmidons are better than Champions of Troy. And we can discuss uh, which of these two units is better, whether Myrmidon or Agamemnon Guard. For now, they will be sharing the top S tier. Another interesting unit is Companions of Ajax or Ajax Companions. They are doing very well, especially against enemy spears, or they are doing also great when uh, holding their ground. Then we got Sparta. Sparta also does not have spears, only the standard armored spearmen. So they will go to the average tier as well. And very last, we got Trace. Uh, you would be surprised, devoted to Zalgmoxes are dealing a lot of damage. 
They are just like uh, Agamemnon guards, but slightly different weapon and they are able to uh, hold and survive for very long. So, do we need to reshuffle something? Maybe. Odysseus Midnight Runners are not that uh, strong. You would not be using them, them so much, instead you are using Warriors of Ithaca. Argos and Sparta are having standard spears, that's alright. Uh, Dardana and Hippolyta are incorrect. And now we'll have a look on these S tier units. Hmm. Do you agree that Champions of Troy are the S tier? Or shall we move them to the above average tier? Naktua is definitely weaker than Champions of Troy. And Salamis companions are pretty decent. I would say this might be quite accurate tier of the spear units. I would like to hear your opinions. Do you agree, disagree? Write down comments and see you later.